Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Christmas with the Show Hets. Now, we are doing something so different today, and I've, I'm really excited to tell you about this. So we are at the Four Seasons Hotel in Hampshire, and this is where we are spending our couple's Christmas day. Now, normally we do this at home, but this year we wanted to do something a bit different. It was actually a really random idea I had back in November, or no, September, where I said to David, you know, Christmas is coming up, what should we do this year? And I said to him, I've always wanted to do Christmas at a hotel, you know that. And he was like, well, let's do it then. So we're here, we're just about to check in. We're very early because there is a spa here. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna get some nice lunch, go to the spa, um, go for some nice walks. The walks around here, let me flip you around and show you this. Look at that. Can you believe it? There, are, I think there's something crazy like 200 acres here. I feel as though that's what it said on the website. And this is an 18th century building. How gorgeous is this? And it's got all the Christmas trees outside. It feels so festive here. It's a converted stable block from what I remember reading. And there are some more rooms just back there. But it's a gorgeous building. And I'm so excited today to spend the day at the Four Seasons for Christmas. <laughs> so Christmas day this year, we're actually at my mum's house, my mum and dad's house. And, but we always do our Christmas day a few days before. Um, normally like a Christmas Eve or something like that, uh, that we do our couple's day and we normally cook, go for walks, open presents. So we're gonna be doing all of that today. All of the usual stuff that you're used to seeing, we're gonna be doing that today, just at a hotel. So we've just checked in and now what we're going to do is we're going to we explore the hotel, go for a little walk around. I'm going to show you because this hotel is beautiful. I've actually been here before. Um, but then after that, we're going to go and have a tea and I really need a coffee and just relax before we just probably go to the spa after actually, go and check out the spa. So let's go for some tea and coffee and maybe a bit of cake as well. So here's mine. Just got some oat milk because I love the taste of oat milk tastes great. Do you want David just got a tea. Pour? Yeah, go for it. Pour away. That is a lot of tea you've got there. It's probably enough for like a cup and a half, isn't it? It's very good though. It's very good. We like lots of tea. So yeah, this is it for now. Just Reason chilling out. Yeah, I know. I do like, I like strong coffee. I, I can't deny it's my favourite thing is a really strong coffee. <laughs> it really makes me smile. Okay, slight change of plan. We decided that we're actually going to have a croissant each because we're starving and we are going to go for our walk in a bit. We didn't want to, we didn't want to eat breakfast because we're going to be going for lunch at 12. But we just wanted something, you know when you just want something? So this is what we're going to have now, then we're going to head out. David was just remarking on how good the tea is. And look, it's actual tea leaves. Actual tea leaves, in the top. That is proper tea. We're going to the room, we found the room, it's just here. And that is definitely the room, 12.09, yes. Right, let's go. Oh wow, that looks so good. Come in, come in. Wow. Doesn't this look amazing? Oh, it's so airy and spacious in here. That is amazing. Those pillows look incredible as well. Let me put this bag down because it's heavy. Oh. Let me put the card back in. Okay, so what have we got? We've got a really nice view out the front of the main building. Look at that view. That looks so good. That is impressive. It's very impressive. It's very calming here. This is one thing I'm noticing. It's very relaxing here. If you want to go on a calming retreat, this is the place to go to. I can see two fighting rabbits. Yeah, two rabbits. The hares, I think, aren't they? <laughs> um, now, if we head over this way, look what we've got. We have got a... Oh, I have a card. We've got a cake as well. Let's have a look. Free cake. 
free apple. Let's have a look at the card. To Sophie. Oh, it's like a Christmas card, I think. Okay, oh, this is nice. Dear Sophie, welcome back. We hope you have the best stay and look forward to catching up in 2024. Lots of love, Alana. Thank you so much, Alana, for this. How cute. How sweet is that? That's a really nice extra touch. That's really lovely. nice personal touch. And look at this cake. You've that got looks to love. Like a good cake. It does look like good cake. You've got to love a leave the apple. Free cake. Just eat the cake. Yeah, leave the apple. The apple's yours, though. Well, <laughs> no, I'm joking. Yeah, and the I'm leaf. <laughs> and the leaf. <laughs> no, it looks very nice. It all looks very nice. So, um, over here we've got tea and coffee facilities. And it looks like we've got real milk as well. Real semi-skimmed milk. I like it when you get like a decent amount as well. And it's not in those, you know, those little cartons where you rip the foil off the top. I don't really love those. But then round here, shall we look in the bathroom? Because the bathroom is always a good thing, isn't it? I love, I love a hotel bathroom. I'll show you. Okay. Look at this bathroom. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at the, that's a real orchid over there as well. I love a real orchid. How gorgeous is that? That is so nice. I might actually have a bath later um, and just enjoy that. But over here, we have got different soaps, various different things, glasses, Hello. Hello. <laughs> Orchid. Um, and then the toilet line? there it is, <laughs> the ladies, as I call it. And then in here, look at this. This is the shower, just here in the corner. And yes, well spotted, David. On the bath, there's a shower cap. Oh, look, an actual loofah thing, like exfoliating um, pad. There is what looks like, oh, these are bath salts. You can have a really decent bath here. This is this is amazing. This is really nice added touches. So you're gonna show me what's in these cupboards? Yeah, yeah. So um, what have we got? Um, it's just gonna be a wardrobe, but there yeah, is- Yeah, what'd you get? Oh, you get a safe. There's, a, there's an iron. I'm gonna need oh, no, this iron. iron later because I have a pair of trousers with me that I want to wear to dinner and they are silk and they're gonna need ironing. But look, we've got an ironing board. There's this for your shoes, to clean your shoes. You know how much I like a safe. And there's a safe, but there's what's slippers. On top? What's in those bags? These are service bags for your laundry. So there's a shoe bag there, laundry bags. Right. Let's see, are there any robes? Because I like a hotel robe. Let's see. Oh, maybe they're in the bathroom. What's in that one anyway? This is just um, a thing for your bag, a rack for your bag, and then clothes hangers. Oh, I just wanted to let all of you know that I found the robes. They're in the bathroom on either side of the door just there. So if you choose to stay here, there are robes. To me, a hotel robe is very important. I like to sleep in a hotel robe. I find them very comfortable. Um, so they are either side of the door. What's in the chest, the drawers? I think this would be mini bar, do you think? Yes. Yes. What's in the mini bar? Quite a lot of stuff actually in there. There actually is quite a lot. There is actually quite a lot of stuff. Oh, here we have snacks. So there's like biscuits, peanuts, almonds. This bed is so comfortable. So comfortable. Oh. Do you know what? This was the best idea we had to do something in a hotel for Christmas. Don't you think? Yeah. This is really different. I've never done anything like this and it feels really festive, but also like a little breakaway at the same time. And I've spoken to you all before about how we really like doing this thing where we stay at a hotel for one night. It's all you need to recharge and kind of reset yourself. And it's really a fun and more affordable way of having a break without spending thousands. Um, so, so I'm really glad we did this. And the festive market later is going to be incredible. 
looking forward to that. Sorry, I'm looking up at David. <laughs> should be looking at all of you. But no, festive market's going to be amazing. But um, do you want to go out for a walk? Yeah, what time's lunch? 12. Because I'm starving. Yeah. I think it's at 12. I need to check with reception. Pretty okay. sure it's at 12. So that's the room. Hope you enjoyed that. It's a lovely room. It's really nice. This hotel is stunning. Um, we're now on our way down for lunch. So this is the restaurant. We've just found it. This is called Wild Carrot, as I mentioned earlier. And it's down these stairs. Come along. Come with. It's so nice. Food, very good. Okay, we're in. We are in the restaurant. And they said to us, do you want to start off having some drinks in the bar? So we were like, yeah, why not? So we just ordered some waters. And while we're here, we're going to have a look at the food menu. Uh, and I'll show you it so that you can kind of see what's on there. The bar is really sweet, though. Let me flip you around and show you. That is it. So you can actually sit there if you prefer to have your drinks. But this is where we've chosen to sit, looking at the Christmas tree and then just here this is i think this is the drinks menu or the bar menu yeah so this is kind of drinks that you can get since going to italy i need to lose a little bit of weight and <laughs> what can i say uh i don't regret it i said that in a video a while ago i'm like i did what i did i ate what i ate i had a very good time pizza pasta just fantastic but now i do need to knock a few pounds off so i'm trying to cut back things like no dessert for me that is like one thing i'm doing apart from i might let myself have a dessert for dinner this evening but i don't know we'll see okay so david what are we thinking um well it's not going to be the caesar salad no what you don't you like caesar salad tiger prawns? i might get it. yeah i might get it with prawns or you could get what does ls mean L.S. Oh, here we go. Locally sourced. Locally sourced. So that's quite good. That's actually quite good. The, so everything with L.S. on it's is locally, locally sourced. sourced. Um, what am I going Yeah, on? the trout could be quite good, you know that. Oh God, prawn spaghetti looks good. I know, oh, prawn I spaghetti. Prawn. I know. I was looking at the prawn spaghetti. Yes, everyone, I have a shellfish allergy. Yeah, and I can't eat mushroom or truffle. It literally kills me off. Um... Yeah, I think, I'm, I think I'll probably go with that. Okay, so we're in the restaurant now. We're um, yet to order. David's going to have the rigatoni, and I think I probably am going to have the Caesar salad, or maybe the same as you, because that looks quite good, but then it's quite carbohydrate heavy, isn't it? Whereas we're walking. We are walking. This is true. We are going for a walk. The food has arrived, and this is what I ordered, the Caesar salad. I, I went for anchovies and not prawns in the end. I just fancy some anchovies, but look at David's. Yours looks so good and it smells amazing. I low-key wish I ordered that. Thank you. It smells so good. And he got fries as well because he can. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Right, let's get started. Hey everyone, I thought I'd just stop here for a minute and show you the main building which is behind me. We've just come out for a walk. I'm actually just waiting for David. I'm just waiting here for a second. He's gone back to the hotel to get something. But um, you know what I was going to tell you? So this year we were talking to each other about Christmas presents and we actually don't want to do Christmas presents this year because as I mentioned several videos ago now, David and I were just way more into um, experiences as opposed to things. However, I've kind of broken the rule and I've got him something. Now, we're actually a few days away from Christmas, so I've still got plenty of time. But I have basically got him something from Fendi and I'm going to go and pick it up from Fendi next week. So I'll have it in time for Christmas. And what I'm going to do is on the actual Christmas day, I will um, film it. I'm going to give him his present and hopefully he won't be annoyed because obviously, as I said, the plan wasn't to do presents. But I broke the rule. So anyway, I'm just going to wait for him and then we're going to carry on with our walk. Okay, I'm back with David again. Um, he's caught me up. And we are very nearly at the equestrian centre. 
and I can already see the ponies in the field. They look so cute. They're, they look like Shetland ponies, actually. They look quite small. I wonder whether they're friendly, whether we can pet them or not. Um, oh, but this is so nice. It is kind of cold today, but in a nice festive way. Do you know, honestly, I would really recommend if you want to do something different, trying Christmas at a hotel. It so far has been so fun, so different. It feels like a retreat in addition to Christmas. It really feels very Christmassy actually because the hotel's so dressed up. So I would actually recommend it. I think it's a great fun thing to do. Even if you just go out for your Christmas lunch, I think, at a hotel, it's really fun. So at the hotel, the wind is gonna ruin this out. <laughs> at the hotel, they gave us this little map and this on it has got where you can go for walks around the place and it's really handy to know all the different routes that you can take. And we're down here at the equestrian centre. So we're back in the room. I hope you can hear me over there. Um, we're back in the room. We're thinking about going to the spa. Um, it was really cold out on our walk, but that it was fine. Um, it made it more festive. It made it more fun. Uh, but yeah, what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the spa and then go out for this Christmas market or festive market that's going on this evening. Um, David is behind you. What are you doing? I've got something for you. We said we weren't going to do Christmas presents. You said. I didn't say. <laughs> okay, David, I don't know whether you heard that. David just said, I said we weren't going to go do Christmas. Sophie said we weren't going to do Christmas. I never agreed to anything. But I thought we... Oh, no, please don't, okay, because do there's a story gift? behind... How did you sneak that in here? Oh. oh my god. It won't come out. Oh, no! It's from Dior. Oh my gosh. Look everyone, it's got the new Dior package. Why did you do this? You need to sit down. Oh, because really? you're not on camera. Oh okay. He is smiling. He has got like a grin ear to ear right now. Yeah, because I know I haven't got anything. That's not true. <laughs> Your tea. That's not necessarily true. Only the people who've watched the video so far know the truth. Wow. Did you want to open it? Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. It's really heavy. Whoa. <laughs> Look, Dior, wow. Oh, you shouldn't have done this. It was only you agreed. It was only you that, that agreed no Christmas present. I know, but <clears throat> so, we said experiences, but this is very That's an experience you. opening this box. It actually is. No, you got me the boots that I wanted. I think this, I think I know what this is. Have a look then. Yeah, well, they're not for me. I can't wear them. They're not my size. Oh my God, I can't believe you got <laughs> these for me. Look at this, everyone. I've got to come and show you these. Oh my God. Yeah, they are lovely. Look. These are all tweed on here. This is all tweed around here. And then it's got the Christian Dior written around the top. Oh my God, thank you so much. They're beautiful boots. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah. I tried these on in the shop and I fell in love. As soon as I saw them, I absolutely fell in love with them and I'm so in love with them now. I cannot wait to wear these. 
Oh, I love it. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Happy Christmas. Thank you. Now, I will let you know something. What? Okay. I, I know I said no Christmas presents. I know I said that. But I also broke my own rule and I have actually got you something. <gasps> However... <laughs> <laughs> I have to wait until next Christmas. No, for no, no, no. However, I can... I will say it now because... because I, I'm just going to say it. I was saying on the video earlier when you were in the hotel... I broke my own rule and I've bought you some items. However, I still need to pick them up. Yeah, I will give it to you and you can open it. But I feel really bad now because I didn't know we were going to do gifts. But we're doing gifts, yes. so. Yeah. We're just on our way down to the spa now. And I just brought with me my... This is actually my gym bag. I find it really good gym bag. It fits all of my stuff. Um, it's just very convenient. So I thought oh, I'll bring that because everything that I need's in it, like my swim stuff and um, flip flops and things like that. So um, we're gonna head down now and check it out. And we've got a couple of hours before the Christmas market starts. So we should have ample time to enjoy ourselves in the spa before we go and enjoy the market. This is literally the best couples Christmas with you ever. I'm having such a good time, are you? Yeah, it's brilliant. Hey everyone, so I'm currently in, I'm not in the pool, I'm in the pool room. And I'm just on a sun lounger waiting for David. I thought that was him, it's not him. He is taking his time actually. I don't know where he is and why he's taking so long, but he is. I've got changed and I'm just waiting by the pool. And I've grabbed him like a sun lounger bed thing as well so that he can chill out next to me. I'm still looking for him, I can't find him. Anyway, I'm gonna flip you around and show you this spa because the, the pool alone is beautiful and when I came out of the ladies changing rooms there's all different rooms off the corridor kind of like different steam rooms different types of relaxation room treatment rooms they have a signature treatment here that they do a certain type of massage and I think it encompasses a facial as well I haven't actually booked in for any treatments today but I've heard that their treatments are really exceptional but anyway let me show you this um, the pool It's five o'clock, so we need to, the Christmas thingy, the Christmas market doesn't open until six. six. So we've got like an hour. What do you want to do? Um, I want to go and have a shower and stuff. Yeah. Get ready. Yeah. Um, and then go to the market. Okay. And then go to maybe... May, I don't know, maybe go for a drink first in the bar? Yeah, could do. And then go to the um, the market. Because we've got drinks booked at um, 8.30. Oh, that's fine, I'll just have drinks twice. <laughs> and then we've got dinner at 9, so yeah, we can just go and chill. Yeah, we can just go and... Because this evening should play out quite smoothly, so... And then take it from there. Okay. Okay everyone, I've had to switch phones because my Samsung doesn't have any storage space left. But I thought I would come on here and show you what it is that I'm wearing tonight. I am wearing the Fendi trousers that you've seen before. And I'm wearing it with this Fendi top. It's actually a ski top. If I come in closer and show you the detail. And I got this back in, um, when did I get this? December 2022. I seem to remember getting this. Why is my hair sticking out there? That's annoying. Um, yeah, so this is what I'm wearing today. And I will, shall I show you the bag that I'm gonna use? That Come and let me show you the bag. So this is my bag that you've seen before, Fendi Baguette. And this is the perfume that I'm wearing tonight uh, by Fragrance Dubois. Hey everyone, so we are currently just about to go into the festive market and 
there's a lot of people turning up um a lot of people if i just flip you around just turn you around slightly you can see it's all kind of like lit up here it looks really really pretty and there are loads of people turning up in like black tie attire um hopefully they're going to like a party that we're not going to normally i would not say that normally i want to go to the party but i'm not dressed in black tie neither is david so <laughs> we didn't get the memo on that one hopefully that doesn't involve us but let's head in i think there are actual reindeer here which i'm so excited about i've never actually you know what i have never seen a, a reindeer in real life ever this is the entrance way and there are the reindeer david's gone straight over <laughs> i'm gonna head over in a second but this is so down there is just where we were where we've parked the car and the entrance is around there and then this um courtyard in the back this is the entrance to it i think you can get this get to the spa from here as well i've never been so close to a real reindeer ever aren't they sweet <laughs> this one wants food they've got treats you see It must be a little shop. I'll switch you around in a minute and show you. But we just went to the Christmas market. It was really good. And we've got our mulled wine. We had a look round. There was loads of really cute stalls. And hopefully you enjoyed um, watching that. But now we're going to go and head to the main restaurant. And this is the shop that David spotted. It looks like it does paintings. That was quite cute, that one. What did you see? Look, 2,400. For that, for that painting and that's one well i don't know how much that yeah 1800 for the top one 1800 1100 for, for the middle one and 18 for the oh thank you <laughs> thank you still getting the grips of things and learning a lot for the wine, the house wine that they recommended, the house white, is the Sanser, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Now, just to let you know, David actually hates wine, but he, even David is like, okay, this is really nice. I actually want to drink this wine. It's really good. I don't know why, the forward-facing camera is always better than the, the one that points at your face. I don't know, anyway. The one that points at your face is really grainy and rubbish. I'm very sorry, everyone, for that poor quality. Uh, but this is the wine, and we're just going to chill out here. We haven't got dinner for like an hour yet, so we're just going to relax. Okay, we've just come through for dinner. We're a little bit early, but they have been brilliant and have accommodated us. And here is a look at the menu. I can see our drinks are just coming back over now. Can't believe I didn't notice this, but David's just noticed. Look. You can go for turkey with pigs in blankets, roasted root vegetables, cranberry and gravy. That is so festive. We have to go for that. I think we're going to go for two of those. Are you going to get that? Yeah. Where's the potatoes? Uh, does it come with potatoes? Maybe you have to get them separately. I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to ask, but it looks really good. I think I will get that, you know. Very festive, very Christmassy. So here, what we decided to do, this was actually David's idea. We've got a starter to share and we're going to get a dessert to share. Because by the time we've had our main course, we won't be able to manage either. But um, they, the lady was just telling us that the goat's cheese in this is sourced locally and is only from 15 miles away. And the beetroot is also local as well. So this will be so nice to try. David's going to start off with some bread. I've already had some. It's warm 
and the butter is perfect just too good so this is our main course so we both got the turkey and I'm annoyed because they poured the gravy and I forgot to film it there we go I'll, I'll pour some more gravy there we go ruin the food ruin the food but there we go that's what we ordered and it looks and it smells great so we got the turkey and it comes with roast potatoes pigs and blankets broccoli the full thing everything looking forward to trying this look at this everyone chef actually came out and saw us at our table he's going around and seeing everyone and when he went round, he said what do you want for dessert and we said we aren't sure so he brought out his pastry chef who then told us what we should get and his pastry chef just came out now and I said to him did you just make these and he was like yes I did yes this one is chestnut this one is uh, gingerbread and I'm really looking forward to trying both. We thought we're gonna get both and just share them both so that we can both see what they're like. Hey everyone, oh my God, I'm so tired. It's the next day and we're about to go down for breakfast. I need coffee so badly and we're gonna see what they've got for breakfast. Just see what they've got going on and I'll film all of it so that you can see because I do think you can tell a lot about a place from the hotel breakfast in my Opinion, I think you can, so let's go. Wow, I look really rubbish today. This is for sure. It's for sure. Um, so, there is a cooked breakfast, but you can also order off their a la carte menu if there is something very specific that you want. I think I'm gonna go for the regular cooked breakfast and like a croissant or something like that. Um, I actually wanna go and check it out. Should we go and have a look? Okay. Yeah. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so they've got fruits. I wish you could smell that, that smell of fresh melon. It smells incredible. Then they have salads, smoked salmon, um, sort of cold cut meats, cheeses. Oh, here we go, here we go. <laughs> Mushrooms over there, hash browns, sausage bacon, and then, oh my god, they've got my favourite. Oh my god, no, they've got poached eggs and spiced tomato sauce, that's really nice. And they have my favourite, which are waffles. What have we got here? Maple syrup, golden syrup, icing sugar, and berry sauce. So there's a really good selection, and I haven't even got to the pastry section yet. Okay, so here they've got pastries, croissants, little cakes. More cake around here, actually. Vegan chocolate cake there. And then if we go the other side, I think this is where the cereal is, yes. So there's all cereals here. Pretty much everything you could want, you know. And then there is also like granola pots I saw them just put out. Just here, these. This is what I went for in the end. I got a waffle, the eggs in the tomato sauce, a hash brown, some bacon. David, what did you get? Oh, you went for the classic. Yeah, full English. Full English. And some bread. Good morning everyone well it's not gonna be morning by the time you see this because I'm gonna put this up later 
because it is Christmas morning. Now our plan for today is that we are seeing family and then tomorrow Boxing Day we've got friends coming over so it's like quite a busy couple of days but I really hope you've enjoyed hanging out with, uh, with us in our annual couples Christmas Christmas with the show heads video. Now what we're about to do is, if you remember earlier in this video, I said that I got David a Christmas present. I nearly said birthday present. <laughs> Christmas present. And it arrived and I wanted to save it until Christmas morning for him to open. Uh, and I'm really hoping he likes it. One of the items was so difficult to get. I almost thought I wasn't gonna be able to get it. So anyway, let's go through and um, I'll give him his presents now. Okay, everyone, so um, David doesn't want to be on camera, which is fine, we understand that, but here's what I got him for Christmas. Thank you. And I just got you a couple of little bits, like nothing major, I, but one of them was actually quite difficult to get hold of. If you hold I it. I like the star. Hold it for everyone to see. So this is the bag, and this year the packaging comes with um, one of these little stars that you can put on the Christmas tree. There's already one on the tree, you missed it. You didn't missed see it. Missed it. <laughs> okay, any particular order? Uh, top one. Oh. I hope you like it. This was the thing that was difficult to get. Yeah, you've got to do the unboxing. No, right. You do it really quick. Yeah. I know. One, two, three. I hope you like this. It's like a snake. I hope oh, you like this. it's a belt. That's really nice. But look, it's reversible. It is reversible. Does it? How do you? Uh, you take this bit off, this buckle. If yeah. you remove that, so everyone can see, maybe that the plasticky plastic. bit. Oh, it's proper wrapped on, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'll do that later. Okay. So this, everyone, this is like um, matte black hardware on this belt. It was so hard to get. Ooh. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah. So matte black, and then you've got one side which is like plain, really buttery, soft leather, and then the other side's got the monogram on it. So you just take this off and you can switch oh, it Oh, okay, yeah. That's very And I thought this would be a good way for you to get into the monogram. Thank you so much, that's lovely. Do you like it? Yeah. Show everyone the other side of it. Yeah, so look, you've got two double sides. Double sided. This is a really good belt, everyone. Now that I see it, this is really good quality. It feels amazing. Thank you so much. Do you like it? Yes. Good. I hope it fits you. Very good. Because um, Edward, I, who was trying to help me get it, he was he was like, what size is David? And I went to your wardrobe and I got one of your belts out and looked. And I think you're a 90. We'll see. So I got you a 90. Hopefully it's fine. Right. Okay. So. Second up. Here's the next one. Oh, oh, it's just a, it's a window. So we're going to flip this really quick. On one, two, three. Oh, it's a scarf. Thank you. That's a lovely scarf, actually. I need a scarf because because my beard ruins them. Yes, and this is a problem with them. We were talking about this. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you so like, much. Do you like it? And it matches yeah. the belt. Yes, it does. It actually does match. Matches. There you go. Really good match. Thank you so much. I like this black hardware. It's very nice. Maybe it's the wrong way. Like yeah, oh, it's lovely. Thank you so much. It's only small, but I really hope that you love it. And I do. I wanted to get you something that you'd actually wear and enjoy, as opposed to in previous years, getting you things that I think you're gonna like, but actually you don't end up using. So that is everything. I really hope that you have enjoyed hanging out this in this, as I said earlier. We are now gonna head on over. We've got to like grab up all of the presents, bag them all up, and then take them over to see our families. So we're gonna do that now. But I wish all of you who celebrate the nicest Christmas and a really happy new year. Remember to check back tomorrow because there will be a video tomorrow. Thank you all, and I will see you in the next one.